welcome back to my channel today we are going to learn how to make this beautiful sun hat i call it the coquette crochet sun hat so this is inspired by my former autumn swirl bucket hat and you'll see it in the image currently this only has a written pattern and no tutorial yet it's a combination of two pieces the swirl bucket hat as well as some inspiration from my ruffle bucket hat. We already have a tutorial of the ruffle bucket hat, but I noticed that um, some of the ruffles are very dramatic for some clients. So I decided to bring you this simple uh, sun hat with a subtle ruffle on the brim of the hat. So the materials that you will need are yarn. For the yarn, I am using Winter King. It's a four ply acrylic yarn and any DK weight yarn can do. Then I am using a 3.75, but if you don't have a 3.75 and you have tight tension, you can use a four millimeter crochet hook. And if you don't have a 3.75 and you have loose tension, you can go down to a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. And then you also need a pair of scissors and a measuring tip. We already have a written pattern for this hat, by the way, and you can find that in the description box below or on the screen uh, so let's get started so we're going to start off with the measurements uh, you're going to measure your head circumference and for size small i am considering 21 inches size medium 22 inches and size large 23 inches but if you are maybe a small but you have some sort of bulky hair or braids then you will consider a larger size. All right, so we're going to start off with a magic ring. For a magic ring, you hold your yarn like this and then wrap it around two fingers, creating a cross. And then you're going to go under this loop and you grab the working yarn like this. And then you hold. Then from here, you're going to make a chain of one. That chain of one doesn't count as anything. It doesn't count as a chain or a stitch. That just closes off the magic ring so that it doesn't keep moving around. Then uh, from here, you're going to make a chain of one. And then you're going to go into the magic ring with a total of 10 half double crochets. So for a half double crochet, you're going to yarn over. Insert your hook into the ring. Yarn over pull up a loop, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over pull through all the three loops. So that's a half double crochet, and that's our very first one. Let's repeat that, yarn over, insert your hook into the ring, yarn over, pull through, you, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all the three. So that's the second half double crochet. So we want a total of 10. So this is the third. So this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So once you have a total of 10 half double crochets, you're going to pull on this tail, this tail of the magic ring, and it's going to close up that magic ring. Just pull it, but make sure you don't pop it, you don't snap it, or you don't break it. So you can see what we have here. The magic ring has turned into a very tiny loop where the stitches are placed. Then from here, you're going to go into the very first half double crochet that you made with a slip stitch. So just insert your hook on top of the very first half double crochet like that and yarn over, pull through all. So that's a slip stitch. And that marks the end of round one. 
with 10 half double crochets. So let's go on to round two. Round two, you're going to make a chain of one. And you're going to go into the very first stitch where you place the slip stitch. That should be the space. And you're going to place two half double crochets in that space. So this is the first one. And then the second one into the same exact space. Just like that. And then you are going to go into each of the next nine stitches with two half double crochets. So these are the stitches that we are talking about. We have nine left because round one had a total of ten. And the very first one has received two double crochets. So you're going to go into the next stitch into both loops. And you're going to place two half double crochets. And continue to go all the way around placing two half double crochets into each and every stitch. Alright, so since round one had a total of 10 half double crochets, round two should have a total of 20 half double crochets because each stitch of round one has received two half double crochets. So you're going to cross check two. Sorry, I placed only one in this one. So make sure you cross check so that you don't lose count of the stitches. So two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen and twenty and the moment you have twenty half double crochets this is supposed to be a false stitch make sure you don't count that as a stitch the one that's attached to the chain one there's a stitch there it's supposed to be a false stitch so the moment you get your twenty half double crochets and you find this loop here don't think that you've made a problem you've made a mistake or anything uh, that stitch is supposed to be there, but it's a false stitch and we don't work into it. So I have my 20 half double crochets and I'll go into the very first half double crochet of the round and place a slip stitch. You just insert your hook and pull through all. Then we're going on to round three. You're going to make a chain of one and into the very first stitch, which is this one where that hole is, where you place the slip stitch, you're going to place two half double crochets. So after your two half double crochets into the very first stitch, you're going to go into the next stitch with one half double crochet. So we are alternating between that. Two half double crochets into the next and then one half double crochet into the next. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. Two half double crochets into the next and one half double crochet into the next. So we're coming to the end of the round and you should end with one half double crochet into the very last stitch. And this should bring us to 30 half double crochets all the way around. And don't forget, 
this is a false stitch where we don't work anything into it so you should end with one half double crochet into the very last stitch as we can see here and then from here you're going to just go into the top of the very first stitch and you're going to slip stitch just like we've been doing for the previous rounds and this should bring us to 30 half double crochets all the way around round three all right now we are through with round three and for round four we're going to do something different as well uh you're going to make a chain of one and then into the very first stitch where the slip stitch is placed you're going to place two half double crochets just like that and then one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches so one and then one in the next so that's the repeat for round four two half double crochets into the next one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches two half double crochets into the next stitch one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches one and one in the next so you're going to repeat that all the way around we are increasing every after two stitches So you're going to repeat this until you have two stitches left on your round. And at that point, you should be on an increase, a stitch that has two half double crochets. And then you should be left with two stitches on your round. So I'm placing an increase in this one. And as you can see, we have two half double crochets here and we have two stitches left on our round. So you're going to place one half double crochet in each of those last two stitches. And then from here, you're going to slip stitch into the top of the very first half double crochet. Insert your hook, pull through all. So that marks the end of round four. And you should be having a total of 40 stitches. Each round is increasing by 10 stitches at the moment. So first round we had 10, we went to 20, then 30, then now we have 40 stitches all the way around. Let's go on to round five. You're going to make a chain of one. And then into that stitch where you place the slip stitch, that very first hole here, you're going to place two half double crochets and then one half double crochet in each of the next three stitches this time three stitches not two stitches remember the previous round was each and every two stitches and then an increase then our round three was every after one stitch we increase every after one stitch like that so for round five we are going to do three stitches then an increase so one one in the next and one in the next so when you have a total of three stitches then you create an increase just like that and then one two three and then an increase into the next so you're going to repeat that until you have a total of four stitches left just go all the way around until you have four stitches left on your row so three stitches and then an increase an increase is two half double crochets into 
in the same stitch one two three and then an increase one and two So we have four stitches left and as you can see we've just placed our three half double crochets the ones that are on their own so that means the next stitch is going to create an increase one and two and then we have three stitches left and into each of those three stitches you're going to place one half double crochet into each of them like that and then when you finish up you're going to place a slip stitch into the very first half double crochet of the round and you should be having a total of 50 half double crochets all the way around so let's go on to round six round six is basically going to be the same the only difference is the number of stitches in between the increases so let's see how to do it you're going to make a chain of one and then into that very first space that little space with a slip stitch you're going to place two half double crochets one and two and then into the next four stitches you're going to place one half double crochet into each one two three and four so that's what we have so every after four stitches you create an increase and an increase is two half double crochets into the same stitch so you're going to repeat that all the way around one two three and four and then an increase repeat that around until you have a total of five stitches and then i'll show you how to wind up your round All right, so we've just made our very last increase. As you can see here, we have two stitches into this stitch and we have a total of four stitches left. So you're going to go into each and every one of them. 
with only one half double crochet and this should bring us to 60 half double crochets all the way around for round six then after your very last half double crochet you're going to go into the very first half double crochet of the round and you're going to place a slip stitch so we are basically creating the top part of the hat and you can see how flat the circle is so let's go on to round seven round seven you're going to make a chain of one place two half double crochets into the very first stitch and then one half double crochet in each of the next five stitches so one two three four and five and then now it's time for an increase so you're going to place two half double crochets into the next stitch so five standalone half double crochets and then an increase so repeat this all the way around one two three four and five and then after that you create an increase which is two half double crochets into the same exact stitch so go all the way around and i'll meet you back towards the end of the round All right, so we've just placed our very last increase of round seven and we have five stitches left so you're going to go into each of the five stitches with one half double crochet into each stitch just like that and then you're going to slip stitch into the very first half double crochet of the round and this should bring us to 70 half double crochets all the way around your work should look as perfect as this it's almost creating a perfect circle and then we're going on to round eight um and now you of course you know how the thing goes you're going to make a chain of one and then two half double crochets into the same exact stitch and then one half double crochet in each of the next six stitches so one two three four five and six after that you're going to go into the next stitch and you're going to create an increase so two 
half double crochets into the next stitch then in each of the next six stitches you're going to place one half double crochet and this is going to be the repeat for round eight after your six standalone half double crochets remember the increase is here so we have one two three four five and six and then create another increase which is two half double crochets into the same stitch so go all the way around repeating this and i'll meet you back towards the end of the round all right so we're coming to the end of round eight and we are placing one half double crochet in each of the last six stitches all right so we're going to go into the very first half double crochet with one slip stitch and that marks the end of round eight round eight should have a total of 80 half double crochets so if you're following the same gauge as mine uh at this point you are going to stop for a size small and for the size small um that is 21 inch circumference a 21 inch circumference head if you're 22 inches you're going to create one more round you're going to go on to round nine i'm going to explain this part very well so if you're a 21 inch circumference head that's a size small you should end on round eight if you're creating the same gauge as if you're using the same gauge as mine and your circle should be approximately 6.1 inches at this point across sorry uh, the diameter of your circle should be 6.1 across so uh if you're a size medium which is a 22 inch circumference head you're going to create one more round and for your round nine you're going to start your round as usual you chain one place two half double crochets into the very first stitch and then one half double crochet in each of the next seven stitches so seven stitches and then an increase seven stitches and increase seven stitches and an increase so that will be for round nine and if your size medium that will be your last round if your size large which is a 23 inch circumference head this is usually for males or females that have hair bulky hair not very bulky but something that makes your head a little bit larger than what it actually is so maybe you have braided hair uh, you're going to consider 23 inches which i considered a size large so for you you're going to go ahead and make your round nine as i explained and then you're going to go ahead and make one more round which is round 10 and for round 10 you're going to create a chain of one plus two half double crochets into the very first stitch and then one half double crochet in each of the next eight stitches so eight stitches and then an increase eight stitches and an increase that's the explanation for round 10 for the size large people with 23 inch circumference heads so i'm going to demonstrate for a size small and at this point round eight i'm done round nine should be for size medium and round nine and ten should be for size large so let's go on to the next step and uh for uh diameter references i have approximately six inches for size small around 6.5 for size medium and around seven inches for size large so keep that in mind then uh we're going on to the middle band of the of the hat we are done with the top plait and now we're going on to the middle band of the hat so what we're going to do whatever row that you own at this point this is going to be row nine for size small row 10 for size medium and row 11 for size large you're going to make a chain of one and half double crochet into the very first stitch where you placed a where you placed a slip stitch you're going to place one half double crochet 
back loop only this time we want to change the direction of the hat so a stitch is made of two stitches so we is made of two loops there's this front loop the one that's facing you and the one at the back so we are going to place a half double crochet but only in the back loop and this time we are not going to be creating any increases we are going to just go into each and every stitch and we are going to place one half double crochet back loop only so you can see the loop in which i'm placing my half double crochet we are placing one half double crochet back loop only and we are placing one stitch in each and every stitch all the way around we want to change the direction of the hat we are done with the flat edge now we are going to create room for the hat to actually look like a functional hat so basically your hat is going to start changing the direction and it's going to start facing down to create room for where your head is supposed to be placed so go all the way around placing one half double crochet back loop only into each and every stitch and this is also going to create a ridge you can see that ridge that's created it's changing the direction of the hat so go all the way around i'll meet you back towards the beginning of the round Alright guys, when you make it to the end of the round, you're going to have something that looks like this. Alright, so we're going to do a slip stitch into the very first half double crochet of the round. And now this round has helped us change the direction of the hat. As you can see, we've created some sort of dish-like shape. We are no longer creating a flat circle. So what you're going to do right now is to keep working around and around to create the middle section of the hat before the brim so for the next round which is round 10 for size small round 11 for size medium and round 12 for size large you're going to make a chain of one and place one half double crochet in each and every stitch this time not into the back loops we are going into the actual stitches into both loops and we, we are placing one half double crochet in each and every stitch around so go all the way around and i'll meet you back at the beginning of the round and show you what to do next all right now we're coming to the end of the round and i've just placed my last half double crochet and now I'm going to place one slip stitch into the very first half double crochet. So what we're going to do right now is to repeat this previous round. round, The round of half double crochet stitches into each and every, into both loops, not into the back loop, into both loops. All right, I continued working my plain round of half double crochets until I had a total of five inches approximately for my hat all the way from the center of the hat to this point so for medium you're going to consider 5.5 .5 to 6 inches and for large you're going to consider around 6 to 6.5 inches so keep working until you get that measurement right there uh, for me i'll stop on approximately 5 inches because i'm making for a size small and now we're going to start the brim of the hat so what we are going to do right now remember the first part of the hat was this which was the crown and then this is the midsection the middle band of the hat that's what gives it the height and then the brim of the hat is what flares out so to start working that uh, at this point i have a total of 15 rounds all the way from the start of the project 
so we're going to start working on the brim of the hat and uh, for this you're going to make a chain of one and then you're going to half double crochet in each of the first three stitches so into the first stitch you're going to place one half double crochet one half double crochet into the next stitch and one half double crochet into the next stitch and then into the next stitch you're going to place two half double crochets and then repeat that all the way around one two and three and then an increase one two and three and then an increase just like that so repeat that all the way around and i'll meet you back at the beginning of the round all right we are coming to the end of the round and i've just made an increase here so we are still going with the pattern one two and three and then an increase into the next stitch so it doesn't matter what you end with whatever you end with you're going to place a slip stitch into the very first half double crochet of the round and you may not see the hat flaring out yet but if you're keen you can see the direction of the hat changing at this point we are now moving outwards so uh, we're going on to the next round which is round two of the brim we are done with round one of the brim round two you're going to make a chain of one and then one half double crochet into the very first stitch and then one half double crochet in each of the next three stitches to make it a total of four half double crochets and then an increase which is two half double crochets into the same stitch so the repeat for this round is one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches three and four and then an increase we are going to create a subtle ruffle at the base of our hat or at the brim of our hat it's going to be calm and relaxed but you're going to see the effect that it creates on this hat it's something very beautiful so uh every after four stitches you create an increase this is round two of the brim one two three four and then an increase so you're going to repeat this all the way around and i'll meet you back at the beginning of the round I don't know if you can already see the wave starting to form it's going to be a very calm kind of wave at the brim of the hat but uh, the end result just stay tuned it's going to be really beautiful all right so we're coming to the end of the row and i am placing one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches and then in the last one i have two half doubles which is an increase and then from here i'm going to place a slip stitch into the very first half double crochet that i made and look guys look at this everything is taking shape we are very happy with the results how everything is turning out it's a very simple but classy bucket hat so from here we are going on to round three of the brim you're going to make a chain of one go into the very first stitch with a half double crochet and then one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches to make it a total of five half double crochets including the very first stitch so one two three four and five and then an increase so two half double crochets into the next stitch then one half double crochet in each of the next five stitches three four and five and then an increase so two half double crochets in the next stitch so you're going to repeat that all the way around five stitches and then an increase five stitches and an increase and i'll meet you back to show you how your hat will look like after round three of the brim 
all right guys we've come to the end of the third round of the brim and i've ended with an increase still so i'm going to place a slip stitch into the very first half double crochet of the round and that marks the end of the third round of the brim look what we have guys you can see the wave it's very subtle but it is there and it will continue to become more evident as we keep working it's not going to be very dramatic like the ruffle hat but it's going to have its own style as you can see here so um i just want to explain this remaining part because i feel like we're just dragging with the tutorial um you're going to keep working these rounds increasing the number of stitches in between the increases for example for round one we had three stitches in between the increases round two of the brim we had four stitches in between the increases round three of the brim we had five stitches in between the increases and now that means round four of the brim is going to have a total of six stitches in between the increases i hope i'm making sense six standalone half double crochets and then an increase into the next stitch so we're going to just repeat this once you finish one round and go on to the next round that means you're going to increase the number of stitches in between the increases so if you had five here that means the next round you'll have six the next round you'll have seven stitches in between the increases like that like that and keep building your brim i'll let you know how many rounds that i'll do for my brim at the end but my intended number is seven so once i get to seven rounds i will get back and show you how everything looks like okay guys here is the progress of our hat and you can see the ruffle now it's very evident and uh, let me just take this away so that we can get a clear view of the hat uh this is what it looks like the subtle ruffle at the base. I'm still going because I had planned to do a total of seven rounds of the brim. So far I have five, but you can stop at this point. And I'm also running out of yarn. Um, this is my very first ball. So I anticipate I will use one and a quarter balls. I will use quarter of the second ball because I just have two rounds left. So approximately one and a quarter balls to do the full hat. So this could be a very quick project. If you don't want anything dramatic, you can even stop here. So 150 yards should be just fine for you. And then, yeah, I'm going to continue working. I just wanted to show you the progress of the hat. And when we turn it to the wrong side or the inner side, this is exactly what we have. Your head will be placed here and these ruffles will create that cute look on the outside of the hat. So let me just go ahead and finish up and I'll show you the final look of the hat. All right, guys, we've come to the end of the seventh round of the brim. And at this point, I have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22 rounds for the whole hat. I've done a total of 22 rounds, and this is what we've gotten out of um, our patience, of course uh this is a quick project can be done in less than two hours or something uh, but the fact that i have been recording while working this has taken me longer than i expected so i will create my very last increase in my very last stitch and then you're going to insert your hook into the very first half double crochet that you made and you're going to create a slip stitch after this you're going to make a chain of one and then you're going to cut your yarn. At this point, the general structure of our hat is finished and you can get your dunning needle and weave in this tail. You're only going to have around two tails or unless you attached different balls of yarn to your project, but you should be having the starting chain, the one of the magic ring and the final, uh, loose end after cutting the yarn so you're going to get your dunning needle and within those two tails and this is basically it our project is finished and i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to check out my other hat tutorials i'll be leaving all the links to those tutorials in the description box below 
as well as some patterns that don't have tutorials yet so uh, you can give them a try and thanks for watching let me know how you liked this video and i will see you in my next one make sure i weave in your ends i don't have my dunning needle right now but i will make sure i weave in the tails later on and it was nice hanging out with you thanks for watching i'll see you in my next one bye